Greetings fellow collectors, this is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a plush review which I haven't done in quite a while and it's Sonic related. Hey, so if you were waiting for a Sonic review, plush or non-plush related, then yeah, this is your lucky day because today I'm going to be doing a Sonic related plush review. So what could it be? Well, before you guess, no, it's not GE. It's something unique, um, but sort of on the more darker side. So, without further ado, look. Yep, before you think, oh my gosh, she's got a fang. It's like the fighter's plush. Be warned. Because it's not what you think. It's the bootleg fang. Slash sort of knack uh, plush from the Sonic Adventure line. Which, uh, quite surprisingly, either, I think they only made like one bootleg out of the whole set. I have no idea why they decided to choose this character. You know, it shall remain a mystery. Why they didn't do Sonic or Tails, Amy, Knuckles, all the other sort of well-known characters. But they had to choose Fang of all characters. So yeah, I've been meaning to pick up this guy for years now, but unfortunately prices for these guys have been sort of out of my price range and I absolutely refuse to pay no more than £40 really for this, which is sort of around about sort of the, um, the mark where obviously collectors or, you know, enthusiasts or people that obviously can't afford the original, uh, this is your next, next best thing. Which, you know, it sounds a bit like sort of bootleg, sort of like, oh, you know, sort of thing like do not touch with a 10 foot barge pole. Which I can understand because obviously because of the, the company, it affects the company and their sort of, their earnings and whatnot. But, um, yeah, if you are after this sort of, sort of character from the Sonic, uh, the fighters range, then yeah, prices for the original are astronomical. You're probably talking about five, six hundred pounds for an original one with sort of mitma tag. The prices for these guys have gone up astronomically over the years. I mean, I'm lucky enough to um, have a couple of the original Sonic the Fighters plushies. Um, if you've been a member, a subscriber to my channel, I did make a review on the Sonic and Tails Sonic the Fighter versions there. Um, blimey, many moons ago. So if you want to check that out, I'll probably put. A lip, probably put a link in the description of where you can find them, and I might decide to do a re review of them, guys, maybe in the future. Who knows? Let's see. Um, yeah, the quality on that one I think wasn't that great, so yeah, if you want to see a re review, then let me know. Um, if not, then that's something I might decide to do in the future. So today I'm going to do a slight comparison. I don't actually have the original um, of this guy, that's why I've got the sort of next best thing. Um, but yeah, I got this from Tanner from Dream Much, so thanks a lot, Tanner, for that. Um, I was hopefully to obtain this guy. So today, guys, I'm going to be doing a review, comparison, and to show you guys what this plush holds and its pros and cons, really. I have no idea how long it's been in this bag. It's sealed up completely. There's no actual sort of um, sticky flat things where you can just dip it off and... Uh, where you go this is actually sort of completely mint in the bag so yeah what i'll do i'll give you guys a quick look at the actual plush in its bag and then snip snip sip take it out of the bag and yeah give your first look which will be a first look for me really so cam are you going to focus i think it's already focused anyway so height wise i reckon he's probably about maybe 10 to 12 inches i'll probably measure this anyway but there are certain, obviously, obvious um, features about this plush, which um, you'll be able to tell. Even for a complete sense of mood, then you'll be able to tell the difference if you've seen or if you know about these plushes, the differences and stuff, and how to tell um, the bootleg from the original. As you can see, the eyes and the nose are a big giveaway, and also the, um, the touch tag as well. For some reason, the camera does not like that. Come on, you. Let's see if I can get closer. Let's see. There we go. So, as you can see, there's a big, massive difference in terms of quality and the actual touch tag. I'll show you guys the actual touch tag to my originals in a moment. But, yeah, just to give you a quick look in the packaging. 
really interesting, unique character. He's never made. I think this is probably the only plush. And um, apart from that, and the Sonic the Fighter keychains, keychain plush, and also the um, Hong Kong sort of versions. So there's only been sort of like maybe a few of these. So hopefully, maybe GE will be able to make a plush of Fang the Sniper. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. So guys, I'm going to get my scissors out and snip this guy open and hopefully give you an in-look into this plush. So let's get cutting. And free him from his plastic prison. So here we go. Snip, snip, snip. Here we go. Drum roll, please. I'm going to get this on camera. Maybe I can just rip it off. Oh no, the plastic's too, um, surprisingly the plastic's not that flimsy. There we go. And you are free, my friend. Right, let's get him out. <gasps> Freedom! Right, let's have a look at this guy. So, on first glance, he actually doesn't look that bad. So I could do, actually, first of all. I'm always prepared. I always forget this. My tape measure. Where have you gone, tape measure? Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. I always forget this, so I do apologise. Right, so there's a bit of loose threading. I can go to the side. Yeah, so on first glances, he doesn't look too bad, she says. Um, yeah, the actual felt piece, as you can see, is really flimsy, and as you can see, kind of, it's got sort of like a translucent sort of, um, look to it, you can probably see my finger there, really cheap, um, yeah, big difference, the original has plastic eyes and a nose, this one just has, um, like polyester, Maybe cardboard that's been covered in like a sort of polyester fabric. Um, the actual pupil to his eye is made from a separate piece. It's almost like it's a velvety in a way. But I mean, for bootleg, it doesn't look too bad. He's um, not blind, his ears. It would help if actually it was in <laughs> pointing at the camera. Um, there are some glue residue where his, where his fang is. I was just about to say his teeth then. You know what? I mean, as you can see, the quality is actually not that bad for a bootleg. Um, so yeah, the touch tag is a big giveaway. It's way too big to. Uh, the original one is a lot. Uh, it's longer and a bit narrower. So I'm guessing that probably says Sonic the Fighters. Maybe ninety. This is ninety six. Oh yeah, the game came out in ninety six, and they. Manufacture the plushes in 97, maybe some in 98. 97, just look at them other ones. 90, yeah, 97. But as you can see, the actual Sega logo is, yeah, the actual ink they've used is not fantastic. Um, another bit of loose brown threading material. And as you can see, his gold hang string is not like that of the original. And it's actually elasticated as well. Which is handy, but at the same time, it, it's not true to the original sort of plushies. Um, in my hand, you can just about see there. I wonder if he can sit down without his um, tail getting in the way. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, so I'm going to lay him down. Yeah, so, let's give you a quick look. Yep, so I'm going to measure this guy up and yeah, let's see how he uh, turns out. So on my tape measure, he measures around about between 10 to 11 inches tall. So pretty much bang on. Um, he's probably a bit bigger compared to the other guys. So yeah, this is going to be a bit difficult because obviously his tail is going to get in the way. So I'm sort of going to try and sort of lay him on his side. But yeah, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So starting with his hat first, it's quite interesting. Um, it's made from, I'm assuming, cardboard and then covered in this sort of synthetic material. Um, from the original, I assume it's a lot more sort of tighter on. Um, with this one, the fabric does feel a bit loose, 
but it's brown it does come up a lot lighter on camera because i've got the light on but in person it's um it's a bit darker sort of almost like um a dark sort of chocolatey sort of color and the black is essentially the same material as the brown except it's black and it's wrapped around and i assume it's uh yeah it's glued on it's just been essentially wrapped around the hat and then obviously cut uh, to the length and then sort of stuck in really um as for the original i don't know if it's been sewn or glue on but with this one it looks like it's been glued on now as for his sort of um his i don't know if you call it his snap really um his sort of muzzle area i will start actually with his eyes i mean from the actual fabric they've used it's actually not that bad i mean on camera it's coming up a bit a little bit lighter but it's almost sort of like um a lavender sort of color purple um his eyes as you can see there it's made from like um synthetic almost like felt material as you can see it gives us sort of like this sparkly effect it, it does remind me very much of felt um very similar to kind of similar to his sort of whiskers camera doesn't look like that far too bright there we go now for the stitching uh designed to his mouth it's made from black as you can see and it's sort of quite thin you can see his fang there and it's essentially made from the same material as the sections to his eyes except it's obviously been cut into sort of like a teeth shape and stuck on but you can see there's actually residue sort of dried on glue there it does look a bit weird though it doesn't actually look like he's got like a fang it's just something that's just been stuck on there um now as for his eyes um it's essentially i assume it's made from it's cut uh from cardboard and then covered in this sort of synthetic almost like um nylon sort of material and the actual white section is pupil is made from a separate piece you can just about see from the side there there we go um his nose is made from like um it's blue okay we'll behave there we go oh, no out of focus in focus come on we'll go back a bit further it might um there we go kind of you can just about see there it's uh, made from the same sort of polyester sort of material if i can try and i might be able to sort of prop him up a bit there we go without him toppling over there we go that's better the old uh, auto focus does need to kick up the boot sometimes as you can see it's coming up a lot dark on camera but it's a bit lighter in person but as you can see it's not made from plastic same with his eyes that's a big giveaway to tell the difference between these so if you've got one of these and it's got a sort of like um polyester sort of fabric to his nose then yeah he's um definitely a bootleg whiskers again i'm gonna be very gentle because i know this is going to topple over it's made from sort of like a felt material and quite cheap at that as i showed showed you before earlier and same again for his other side, and it's actually tucked in there, as you can see. Now, I'm probably going to lay him... Oh, his ears, actually, I forgot to mention. Yeah, he's not very good at um, standing up. If I lay him on his side, his ears, nothing really much to say about that. It's just cut into the shape that is required, and there's no stuffing. So it's quite loose and floppy there. As you can see, his whiskers, they're quite thin and flimsy sort of cheap really to be honest um moving down to his body i sort of hold him he does have that very sort of natural feel that you get with the original ones i mean for instance like my sonic here his arms are very sort of floppy there's not loads of stuffing in there so they're quite sort of floppy and sort of noodly as it were but yeah i'll show you guys in a moment the the differences um, but yeah, moving down to his stomach, he's actually quite a nice proportion to plush, I must admit. The fabric, uh, the body that he's made from, I've just noticed a little bit of threading material. Yeah, I'm finding there's a bit of loose threading material sort of here and there. But as for his um, his belt, his belt buckle, it's made from felt and it 
it does feel um I see not as not as thin as his whiskers, but it's still like sort of cheap really, to be honest. Um yeah, it's not stitched as I thought. I thought it looked on camera, it looked like it was stitched, but it's not, it's just glued down. Um but yeah, brown for his um his belt buckle. Oh sorry, the belt and belt buckle obviously yellow. Now they've actually stitched the actual pouch for where his gun would be, or his pistol. They've used sort of brown um stitching material as you can see his actual gun i don't know if it actually comes out i don't think it should no i'm not going to pull it but as you can see it's very floppy the actual gun is made with black and brown that's just been cut and sort of um i assume stuck in then sort of stuck into the actual pouch bit moving to his arms and his gloves would help if the camera was in focus they've done a really good job actually um sort of um sort of reproducing the um the same sort of look and feel to the original arms are very floppy his gloves are actually quite nice um he's got four fingers including his thumb his glove the actual um cuff is um you can sort of get your fingers in there and obviously um, for his, and I don't know exactly what this is, like a sort of metal plate or something. But as you can see, the actual markings on there, I don't know what they've actually done. They, It looks like they've used sort of like um, just a pen to mark it. I don't know if the original one has like felt pieces or whether it's printed on. I'm not entirely sure. But that's his glove design. And you can just about see there, I think there's some stitching design there. So that's his glove and it's basically the same design um, for his right side. Very nice, quite nice indeed. Um, yeah, as I mentioned before, for his gold hang string, now the original ones are very sort of very thin. I'll show you my tails one, as you can see. But this one doesn't have like elastic in it. Um, yeah. I think it's finding it difficult to focus on more than one object. But as you can see, very thin, the original one is. And things come out of that. Um, yeah, but with the fake one, the bootleg one, it's much thicker. Uh, you can just about see that. And it's actually elasticated as well. I don't want to pull that too much in case it, it does damage the actual plush. That's quite interesting though. You can see the back of his um his uh his belt there. And moving to the back of him, his very long sort of tail. Now I don't know if the original one is that long or whether they've um exaggerated. But as you can see, I'll just show you very quickly, I've just seen a bit of stitching there. You can see there are very visible sort of seam lines. His tail, you can see the seam lines on that. I very much doubt the original has very visible sort of seam lines. Now moving down to his legs, um, his touch tag, I don't think there's any writing actually inside. No, it's plain. Um, but yeah, it's very creased and very folded. Um, there we go, oh, that's quite handy. So as you can see, um, I'll show you the original one. Now my Sonic one is very faded. Tails is much more visible. So if I lay him sort of flat. So this is the original Sonic the Fighters um, touch tag show the fake one as you can see there's a difference in terms of the size of the tag it's a lot wider and not as long but they've essentially copied the um, same text it would help a bit in focus and basically the same look as the original as you can see and for the back um, you've got the Sega logo 1997 made in China load of Japanese writing for the fake one, as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of the Sega logo. But they've done it in a very sort of similar, almost identical style. But as you can see, the printing quality on this one is not as good as, say, the original. So we move towers up the way. Um, yeah, moving down to his legs. And his boots, really. Now, I don't know. Um, if you do have the original one, please let me know um, if you are watching this video. Um, the differences between um, the features for the original compared to the bootleg. 
I'm not sure if the original one has different sort of like obviously felt pieces to his boots. I'm not hundred percent sure. The actual move him down a bit actually. His boots do look a little bit um weirdly shaped, like a bit too like there's too much stuffing, but then again I'm not hundred percent sure. Flip him over, you can see his boots. Um as for the colour, the actual quality is, as I mentioned before, not that bad. I think they've done a really good job to um, copy this plush. But, um, yeah, prices for these. I think at one point they did sell, um, there was one seller from Hong Kong or China, selling a, a ton of these sort of um, fangs. But um, obviously that's before I was collecting or... Even when I was collecting, I didn't really notice them because I didn't really see these on eBay. But yeah, um, these do come up every so often. Um, but obviously, you know, because these are bootleg, I can understand some collectors not touching this with a 10-foot barge pole. But um, I think it's something unique and interesting. And obviously, because if you can't afford the original, which goes for hundreds nowadays, um, this is your next best thing to add to your, if you want to collect sort of something the fighter sort of merchandise, which is very few and far between nowadays so yeah i think that's pretty much it there on my sonic or well, my bootleg um sonic the fighters fang the sniper or knack as you might like to call him depending um so yeah i'll show very quickly guys the uh, original ones this is my sonic one i do have a review on him if you want to check that out i'll probably put a link in the description where you can find that and my camera doesn't like that my colors but anyway, just to give you a quick rundown, that's the Sonic one. As you can see, in terms of height, he's a, a little bit smaller compared to uh, Fang. But the quality on this feels a lot better. It, it feels a lot more softer compared to this one. This feels a lot more cheaper. Um, and as for the towels, I do have a towels one, and I do have him with his tag and whatnot. Same again, I do have a uh, review on them, guys. I thought that was a stain, but it's just a bit of fluff. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, um, mine I got a lot cheaper compared to obviously probably what they go nowadays, obviously because he's got some damage on him. So he's not in perfect condition. And as you can see, he's, um, these guys have got plastic eyes and noses. So that's a, a good way to tell the original from the fakes. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my plush review there on my bootleg uh, Fang the Sniper or Knack uh, from Sonic the Fighters plush there from orange hedgehog 2012 oh camera doesn't seem to like that at all so yeah guys it's been quite a while since i've done a sonic related sort of plush review there so i hope you've enjoyed that so yeah i'd just like to say uh to everybody who subscribed to my channel thank you very much um i hope you've enjoyed my content um of me reviewing uh doing unboxing videos uh recent haul pickups from the sega nintendo series and also other sort of franchises out there so yeah guys um thank you a lot for watching and um, take care of yourselves and i'll see you again soon and i'll hopefully be doing more reviews very soon so this has been a video review from orange hedgehog 2012 take care of yourself guys and see you again soon Bye bye